Hi students, and so I am back in Illustrator here, and um, for our um, <clears throat> coloring book page design, um, we got we need to create a new document here, so we're going to create a new, and my thought process is that I want to print these um, on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, um, but I'm going to need some room to actually um, like trim them. So, so I really think that we're going to have to work, and, and we are going to print these, so we're going to work in print here, so that's the first step, going across the top, um, so select that print space. I'm going to work in inches here, and I think that we can do one of two things. We can create an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper with half inch margins, which could work, um, or we could just work in an eight by ten sheet of paper, and then, and then, and then that'll leave us extra space when I print on an eight and a half by eleven sheet. So that let's do that. I'm gonna go eight by ten, and so that'll give us plenty of space to trim. And I'm gonna work in portrait mode, and I just want one artboard. I'm only making a one one coloring page, um, and so then I won't make any bleeds here or anything like that. And we're going to work in CMYK color and 300 PPI and create. And here we are. So now we have our, our page. Now, before I get started here, I do need my photo that I took. So I am getting out my phone here and I'm going into the images, getting that photo that I just photographed of my, of my skeleton drawing there. Um, and I'm going to click that little share button and click airdrop. And I'm going to airdrop it to my computer. There it is. I'm going to accept and throw it in my downloads. Easy peasy. There it is. Down there in the downloads. I'm going to go file, place, and I'm going to say, hey, in my downloads, I have a new JPEG. There it is. And I could link it or make it a template. I think I will make it a template layer and place it in. It's huge. Okay, making it a template layer locks it, first thing, and makes it this template. See that? We're going to unlock it. I'm going to go Command negative and select this whole thing. I can see the edges, and I want to hold Shift, Option, and drag. Bring this way down. Recenter that. I want this centered on there little bit smaller and command zero makes it go full <laughs> makes it go full screen and so I think I want to work something like that yeah that should work and now I want to lock it in and notice when it's a template and I'm gonna double click this template page here notice when it's a template it is dimmed to 50% so you can see that right there. So if you don't want it dimmed, you can unclick the dim. I think I'm going to keep mine dimmed and hit OK. I can see it just fine. And it'll make it so that when I draw my black um, lines using my pen tool or whatever, I'll be able to see those lines a little bit better and not my pencil markings fr from my template. Um, so this is my template layer. I'm going to leave that on, leave that locked. It's all set there. I'm going to go to layer one. And I'm going to just start drawing here, I think. Um, so I have a few different tools that I might want to go about using. Um, and let me get my tablet out and ready to go here. There we go. And you don't have to use a tablet. You can use, um, you could use a mouse. Um, you can even use the trackpad on your computer. Sometimes that can be a little tricky to get some of the, the detailed drawings that you might want. Um, I have really been using a Wacom tablet for years now, and I'm going to stick with that. That's my, uh, I think, my best tool. So when I get in here, um, so when I'm into here, I'm going to start maybe with this, this little flower guy that I created. Um, and so the thing to think about is like, what tools can I use to make this really a simple drawing? Well, guess what? My shape tool. So here I have rectangles, rounded rectangles, ellipses, polygons, etc., etc. Well, a rectangle would be a really easy tool to use here, where I just go straight down, and it's going to make 
my drawing. I'm going to go to the edge of the page here. And notice that I have a white fill with no stroke. I'm going to click this, and I'm actually going to turn off the fill and just have a black stroke on there. So something like that. And maybe I think a th might want to just, just make that a little thinner. There we go. I think that'll look good. Perfect. Okay. So now um, here, creating this, I'm thinking that that might be a good time to try that curvature tool. So let's try that. The curvature tool is here. Curvature tool works um, in a way where you click, 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 and it makes a curve. So I'm going to show you with a couple of clicks here. Click here. I'm going to click here, and you can see it start to make a curve as I go, and it's going to adjust that curve. Now, the problem is, is look at this. Oh, that's not what I want, right? So when you get to this point, you have to hold shift. Uh... Is it shift? Option, I'm sorry. Hold option and click and it's going to make a straight line here. See that? Now do a small click, releasing option, and now it'll allow it to curve back. So option, click, small click here, and it'll curve again. See how I did that? Oh, that last one did not close the circle. Okay, close up. Interesting. Weird. There it goes. Hmm, that was kind of weird. Okay. Um, I noticed here that acted weird at the end there. I'm going to look closer at that. See, it curved this last one. I wanted that to be a point. That's probably the issue. So. What I want to do here is I want to look at my properties panel. Where's that? Windows properties. Yeah. And direct select tool. And I'm going to select that point. And you can see this. I can convert that curve point to a sharp corner point instead. See that? See how I did that? And I'm noticing that this is a little bit thinner than what I wanted originally. So I'm going to grab it here. See, if I'm using my direct select tool and I hover between two anchor points, here's an anchor point, here's an anchor point. If I hover, it gives me that double handled thing and I can kind of pull it out and adjust it. Oh, I don't like that. The other thing I'm noticing is that this curve isn't very smooth. I have a smooth tool here. It's underneath the sharpening shape, shaper tool, pencil tool, smooth tool smooth tool. I'm just going to grab this and kind of just run it over top of this. And it's going to smooth it out. It's going to simplify the number of points that I used like that. Now, if I smooth it to this point, it's going to mess up my, my corner. So I don't want to do that. Direct select tool. So now I think I can grab that. No, it's not going to let me grab it. Oh, I don't have enough points. Pen tool, hover, there we go. That's a little better. This anchor, this anchor point is really, you know what, I think I'm going to try to delete that anchor point. And delete this anchor point. And redo this line here. Like that. And Move this properties panel out of the way. Grab this guy. Bring it back a little. Grab this guy. I think I like that shape best. And I am taking a little bit of time on this. Why? Because I'm only going to make one of these. And once I have that one made, I'll be able to just duplicate it and adjust the size, etc., etc. So if I make one really good one, then I'll be set. So now here, I need to do this. Now here's where you need to start thinking about things. In a coloring book, and I did draw just a single line here, but I might need to make that a double line in order for somebody to be able to color that in. And so I think I'm just going to go with my regular pen tool here. Start here. Go to here. Create a curve like this. 
option, drag back, a little shorter, click down here and pull that out and close it. I'm going to click here and then click here. Now it's closed. Now I think I got a little twisted. I'm going to zoom in on that. I think we're a little twisted here. So I'm going to try to adjust that. See how that's twisted? Yeah, see? I don't like that. So what I need to do is pull this one in like that. I think that looks pretty good there. I might pull this other one. Yeah, see, now I have both of those going. Pull this one back like this. I like that better. Now remember, we'll make this even thinner later if we want. If we want to make this stroke a little thinner. Also, we're zoomed in really close, so nice. Okay, good. Now, shape tools here. Ellipse, option, shift, circle, something like that. Boom. Pretty nice. Now, what I might do here is just select, command, copy, command V. Now I have two of them, object, transform, and reflect it over this vertical and hit OK. Now I have two, maybe make this one a little smaller. So I'm gonna shift, click, drag, shrink it down, rotate it like that, move it over here, trying to see where that's gonna fit that I like. Maybe I over rotated it, bring it back a little. And then this range here, I think I like that. Yeah, I think so. Let's back out and see. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay, select all of this guy. Boom. And now we need to shape build this. So what do I want this to look like? Well, shape builder is here. It's my shape builder tool. Click on him. Notice it's all selected, right? And now I need to say, okay, this... I need to think about what goes in front and what goes behind. This piece of flower is going to be in front. So I want to click and drag and make that in front of that. I want to click and make this a single shape. So I'm going to click on it once. I am going to zoom in here. Let's take a look up here. So now here we need to think about, okay, these have to go behind this flower. They're inside this little cup that has been created. So I'm going to click and drag like that. This guy's in front of this little guy, so I'm going to click and drag. Click once here to make this a shape. And I think I want to connect these together. What do you think? Like that. And like that. So it's just a single piece. There's a little weird piece hanging out there. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't see one there. I think that looks good. I think that looks pretty good. So I think we're set. That looks pretty nice. Okay, switch tools here, back out, and see how um, my really rough sketch, I followed it for the most part, but this isn't the same. There's flexibility to be had here. Now might be a time where I start thinking about, hey, what kind of details would I want to add in this? Well, I think like something like this might be kind of cool. Um, if you take your pen tool, Actually, you know what, let's use, yeah, let's do a pen tool. And I think I'm going to lock this layer, create a new layer, and I'm going to zoom in a little. And I think what I wanna do is start here. And, there we go. And create a curve that goes to here. Okay, don't get crazy on me. A curve that looks like that. Escape that out. So I disconnect, I hit the escape button to disconnect it. And then I'm gonna do a second curve here. 
curve it out to here, estimating here, like that, I think so, escape. Now I'm going to grab my selection tool, select this guy, got it, direct select tool. If I use my direct select tool and select this guy, hmm, no, apparently not. There we go. Selection tool, selected that guy, and notice right now it's on uniform, and I think I want it to be like this. Thicker at the bottom, thin at the top, and I'm going to do the same to this one. Like that. And now I'm going to click on the first one and click on the uh, shift click on the second one and do object blend blend options tell it specific steps oftentimes it's on smooth color we want to do specific steps and how many steps do I want to be in here one two three four maybe four or five let's try five and I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna say object blend make go kind of blended it all together like that I kind of think that looks cool I'm going to join these together now so command a selects that whole thing and I'm gonna drag it onto this other layer I have to unlock it drag it onto that layer layer 3 can just stay there now I can go command a and shape build and zoom in a little oh, right there and I want to cut these. I'm going to hold the option. Oh, it's not going to let me trim those. Hmm, interesting. Okay. It's not going to let me trim those because this is grouped together here. So let's switch this. Um, we need to, to do this, we need to ungroup this piece. So I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to say object ungroup. Um, uh, object expand appearance and now object still hooked in object expand yes okay and now they're all separate pieces do you see that see how I did that okay they're still grouped though ungrouped Now, can I, yeah, there we go. Okay, Command A, Shape Build, Option, click. I'm holding Option down, so it's a negative sign. Click, 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 click. Nice. Now I have these little dry, these little things drawn in. Now the question would be thinking that this is a coloring page, should I do this? Like that. And allow my v my drawers, my colors, to color that in. I think I kind of like it the other way better. I don't know. I'm going to leave it like this for now. I can decide later if I want that, how I want that to look. So here we go. So now I have one done. And remember, my idea here was to kind of fill this space with a multitude of these. So um, so here it is. I might group that together. So a Command G puts that as a single piece, right? Groups it together. And if I have that selected and I hold my Option key, I can duplicate that. And I can also hold Shift, drag, and increase the size or decrease and then see how these are going to fit. I want them to go off the page at the bottom. I didn't make it big enough. Okay, so as you can see that's going to work there. You know, I think I might have to take a couple of these and go object, transform, and reflect, and across the vertical and hit OK. 
and make a couple of these smaller like this. And even this big guy, maybe repeat that again. Transform, reflect. Boom. So I have some going that way, some going this way. Um, let's see how that, maybe then this guy. See, that can't go there because it's going to hit that other plant that I don't want. I want that to be the main piece. You know, there's going to have to be some overlapping here with other, other things. So here we go. Let's see just how this is going to look. Start putting these together. And there's going to be a little bit of uh, trial and error where we're going to have to see what looks good and what doesn't and rework things and that's part of the process here. Maybe that where I thought this leaf was going to be is maybe not going to be where the leaf is going to be. So we'll see. So something like that. Now that one's kind of floating right now, so I want to figure out a way to deal with that. Um, yeah, it's a tighter space than I thought it would be. Well, that's gonna go like that. That's gonna go there. Let's let's do this one, and maybe I don't need that one. And this one's floating, so I am gonna pull this down that. Let's zoom in on that a little. And now I think we need to organize how these sit in the layer so I can go into my layer, um, my sub layers here. So right, we have layers, we turn this, sub layers. If I click on this one, that needs to go to the back. Currently that's on the very top. I'm just going to click and drag and drop it to the bottom. So now that's in the back. And I think I want these guys, these smaller guys look good. And I think I want this guy to go back a little. Yeah. yeah. Now, if we really wanted, if we're really happy with the way this is, I could go in and start chopping some of this up. I could say like, hey, let's select all of this stuff. I'm too zoomed in there. And I could chop this all up using my my select all and then shape builder tool and say, hey, if this is in the back, then this needs to be in the front, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not going to quite get to that yet because I want to play around some more um, with the rest of this space before I actually, I'm going to delete that guy before I actually say, hey, finalize that, and it's in. Okay, um, let's see. I wanted to show a couple more tools here. Oh, I know. Let's see, let's work on maybe these guys here. And uh, there's a pencil tool here I wanted to show. So here's your pencil tool. And the pencil tool, um, I'm sorry, before I continue, layer one, I'm kind of done with that layer. I'm gonna close, lock that in. And, and I'm just gonna leave that just like that. And I'm going to go, hey, we're going to work on layer two, or actually this is layer three now, um, and we're going to make these guys here. So let's look, take a look at those. So with your pencil tool, it can work in a similar fashion. Um, the pencil tool is like a pencil, and you can click and drag and make a drawing, and it makes it into... This, this, there you go. So there, there's a line segment. Now, the problem with that is it doesn't make a nice clean shape. But if you need an organic shape like this, that can be useful. Um, what I might do with this is, um, so having a single shape in a project like this doesn't really work very well. So I might just duplicate this by option clicking it. And now taking my arrow keys and nudging it until I get it where I want it. Maybe a thin like that. And now I have two pieces and I can select both pieces and use the shape builder tool. I can zoom in at the top. And here where they cross, 
can shape build that. So here's my shape builder tool. And I can say, hey, I want to cut off these little pieces here, here, and here. And now I have this. Actually, before I do that, let's make sure that they're going to close. Let's close them. Line segment tool, like that. All right. And now, shape builder tool, command A for select all, shape builder tool. Uh, make this inside part a shape, and then cut off the outside edges here and here, and here. So I'm holding that Option key, and here, and there we go. Now I have a shape, and now I can fill that shape. I can click on it and fill it with black, no problem. All right. So that's the idea here, that I want to create these these things that can be complete shapes that can be colored in. So now to create that second piece that I want, I want these little guys something like, um, and I can use a line segment tool again here or, or something, a line segment tool or a pen tool or whatever to create these little tiny little, and maybe these are so small, maybe these are so small that they're just a line segment and they can't be colored in. And it's just like, that's all it is. And then my circle. And once I make a couple of these, so I'm going to make a circle here. Maybe like that. Boom. Hold that into place. And then I have to figure out how I want to do these little guys. It might be pen tool. I might need to just create these little pieces and put them into place. And with this, I might get my selection tool and play around with how these are going to look uniform or like this. See that? I kind of like that. I like the idea of that. It's going to be more delicate. And then bring that over and and again, I'm going to take my time making one of these because then I'm going to duplicate it and make multiple from that one. So I have a couple different kinds of petals here. If that one goes there. Yeah. You can see where I'm going with this, right? Okay. Excellent. All right. Um, let's see. Other tools. I want to make sure you guys have all the tools you need. So um, so we have our pen tool, um, the anchor tool, the delete anchor tool. Good. Okay. So I showed how to make the pen tool um, curve with a click drag. And wherever you drag, that curve is going to pop out here and click drag. So that's how pen tool makes curves, by clicking and dragging. Now, pen tool can also make straight lines. Click, 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 and we want to click back to the original to make a geometric shape. All straight, very straight lines, that's the key there. Okay. Now, if I make a shape like this, and a pen tool shape, and I close it out, and then I decide, oh, I don't want this anchor point, I want it to go from here to here instead, you can click over here and get your delete anchor point or add extra anchor points and then you click here delete anchor delete anchor and now I just have four anchors right I can hold the option key and modify these these anchor points by clicking and dragging while holding that option key and now make it curved I can hover in the middle of two anchor points and hold option and you get this double handled tool that allows you to adjust here like this, or like this. Okay. The direct select tool will allow you to adjust specific points. So if I click on that one anchor point, now I have control of that anchor. I can move him here to here. Do you see that? I can also grab the anchor point handle, which allows me to adjust from here to here. See this curve? It's allowing me to adjust that curve. Excellent. Okay. The curvature tool we talked about does curves, 
multiple clicks and as it as you click it's going to continue to change what you've already done so you notice that it's changing that curve until I click back to the beginning. Okay, good. Um, you have uh, your line segment tool, an arc tool. These are pretty basic, straightforward. And then you have your shape tools that you can use. And then um, we talked a little bit about using that pencil tool, the smooth tool. You could you can mess around with the shaper tool too. I didn't talk about that. The shaper tool is kind of nice. If I want to use the shaper tool and I make a triangle, or I'm sorry, a square, it'll make you a square, okay? If I want to make a triangle, it'll make a triangle. If I want to take this triangle and this triangle, oh, didn't do that right. Let's make this triangle and this square, and I could connect them together like that. Or I could put lines through and get rid of parts of this. See how I'm doing that? So this is a way to make some complicated shapes and play with them and keep messing with them until you get what you actually want. So and you notice this is automatically filled with white. You can easily shut that white off with the stroke and fill panel and have just shapes. Yeah. So that shaper tool can work really well. It can work really well if you're working on an iPad or a mobile device. It's a, It works similarly. So keep that in mind there. Um, there is an eraser tool back here, um, a path eraser tool, where if I want to erase part of this path, oh, not like that, it won't. Uh -huh. Oh, maybe it won't work on those guys because those are specially made. I don't know. Okay, don't play with the path eraser tool apparently. I don't use that one very often, so um, let's see. And then really, a uh, really important tool to know about is the shape tool um, that's important, that shape builder tool right there. And the key for that is um, you have to select what you want first. So make sure you do a selection of it. And then, and actually I need to draw something here. So once you've done that selection of everything, now you can use that shape builder tool and say hey this is part of the shape part not part of the shape this is part of the shape i want to trim off this extra piece here and here and now i have the shape i actually want so make sure that you know how to use that tool um okay that should cover it so now at this point you guys should have an idea of the different tools you can use to draw um and now um, you've seen a little bit of my drawing. I'm going to continue on on my drawing. Um, it's, I, you guys don't need to watch me make all this, but um, I'm excited to kind of put it all together. And, and I think it's really important to think about the small details that you're going to add in. And it's going to take a while, but it's going to be kind of, kind of um, I think it'll be fun and um, kind of, uh, I don't know. For me, I, when I do something like this, it's um, cathartic where it's like I really enjoy that the repetition of creating something like this and when it's done it should be pretty cool so I'm excited to see what you guys create and uh, I'll be looking forward to um, talking to you guys next week about what you did cool all right um, email me any questions or concerns thanks for joining me sorry this video is so long um, but hopefully it helps you create something awesome